awards show like no other. After months of canceled tour dates, for one special night, the Zoom performances and drive-in concerts that have become the norm in 2020 give way to a spectacular lineup of live powerhouse performances from Nashville. Excitement and the music start right here, right now, as the stars join us live moments before country music's biggest night. The nominees, the fashions, the special tributes to musical icons, and the heroes of 2020. Stay tuned. Your countdown to the CMA Awards live from Nashville starts now. Hi, everybody. I'm Lara Spencer here at Music City Center in Nashville, Tennessee. The 54th annual CMA Awards start in just one hour on ABC. And already the stars behind me are starting to arrive. This is always a huge night for country music artists and fans around the world. But tonight obviously takes on even more significance. It is the first time this year that the greatest names in country music will be together safely all in one room. We're gonna hear from some of your favorites in just a moment, but first, I am very excited to let you know that I have some help tonight with one of country music's biggest stars, the multi-talented singer, songwriter, actor, and friend, Jake Owen. Jake is right here, he's backstage at Music City Center. Jake, what's going on back there? Lara, I am here backstage right now at the CMA Awards 2020. It's crazy. Lots of excitement is happening. My friend's little big town just happen to be walking by looking good right now. There's uh, tons of excitement. People are taking these COVID protocols seriously. We're going to have a great time tonight. I'm going to be your correspondent. I'm going to be catching up with all kinds of people coming by. So I'm going to throw it back to you, Lara. I'm going to catch up with my friend Jason Aldean here in a second, and we're going to have a good time. So back to you, Lara. Mm. Nicely done. The ad correspondent to your resume, Jake. Amazing. It has been a, an insane year. Amazingly insane. 2020 has been filled with challenges. We're all talking about it, not only for country music and the family here, but also for Tennessee and for so many people around our country. 2020, the country music world's year of reinvention. Just take a look at these crowds packing the Grand Ole Opry. No one could have predicted that everything would soon change. Here in Putnam County, east of Nashville, the damage is everywhere. The storm took at least 18 lives in this county alone. Those destructive storms wreaking havoc and heartache across Tennessee ripping Nashville apart. Had a lot of damage out in our area. I know a lot of Nashville was just devastated with the storms. But it's no surprise, the country music world would rally to bring its beloved city back to life. We're here to help you out, man. Come on in. Wow. Check it out. It's kind of like the color. Yeah, look nice color. And on that road to recovery, an unimaginable setback, the coronavirus pandemic. The U.S. now has more cases of coronavirus than anywhere in the world. As shutdowns, canceled concerts, and fear of the unknown loomed, the country music world would step up to meet the challenge. Well, I remember it all very well, looking back, it was the summer I turned 18. <laughs> to lift spirits, offer comfort. Come on now, now. support those who needed it most. I could have missed the pain, but I'd have had to miss the day. We say the show must go on. The stars we love setting the stage on how to adapt to the new normal. All to keep us pushing forward. Definitely top 10 worthy America. Another stunner. Triggering a new wave of activism and racial reckoning. Look out, you the Dixie Chicks are now just the Chicks, dropping Dixie from their name. Dixie being a nickname for the Southern, in particular, Confederate states. Voices speaking out through music. Can we leave this world? for inclusion. 
inclusion and fighting for equality, all while demonstrating change. If you think we live in the land of the free, you should try to be your black like me. Y'all, it's Chapel Heart. The women of country music reshaping the genre, taking over the charts, gaining much deserved recognition. Topping country airplay with the highest percentage of number one hits in 14 years. Country music gaining some 33% more black listeners and 25% more Latino listeners. Showing fans around the world how a community standing united is stronger than any challenge ahead. George Strait may have said it best. Country music is something that's going to be around forever. And boy, do we need it. <laughs> no doubt this year's CMA Awards will look and feel very different, but many right here tonight are saying in a good way with the country music community coming together on this very special night. One of the breakout stars nominated for new artist of the year, Gabby Barrett is with us now. Not just one nomination, but two, two. <laughs> and you have never been nominated before. No. You're also performing tonight. Yes, ma'am. And I just asked you off camera, do you remember the last time you performed live? No. <laughs> it's been a long time. So there's lots of nerves and butterflies and all that good stuff. Are you more nervous about the nominations or about the performance with Charlie Puth? I don't know. They're both really special. So I'm nervous about it all. But hopefully, hopefully everybody will enjoy it and have a good night. So. Oh, I'm, I'm, you know we will. Everybody yes. is so excited to see the country <laughs> music community together in the same room Absolutely. very safely. It's been quite a week, right, with the COVID testing. Yeah. Everybody here has been testing multiple times that's why yes. we don't have to have masks on and we are away from each other even <laughs> yes. though I want to say hello yeah. and congratulations on your baby thank you so much to celebrate for you thank you yeah it's a lot going on um I've been very blessed with the year that I've had and I'm new to this award thing it's very new to me and so yeah COVID's made it look a bit different but everything's working together so I'm happy about that yeah that's what everybody we've talked to tonight has said yeah. it, it, this night means so much not only for the country music community but also for what we can give the fans absolutely they're why you are where you are so anything right. we can do to give back absolutely your album came out this summer, Gold Mine, and yes. all I could think when I was doing my research was, it is a gold mine. <laughs> Thanks. Of great music and of success. Thank you. I tried to pick my 13 gold nuggets in there, so I'm glad you like it. You did, and, and I hope. Yep, I hope is on there, and the original and the Charlie Puth version, so. I'm I can't excited. decide which I like better. The song, the words are so good. I mean, Thank it's you. an anthem for breaking up. Yeah, it takes a little bit of a left turn for sure. It sure does. Yeah. <laughs> Was that fun performing that? Absolutely. It's always super fun. I mean, I can't wait to get back out and start touring again and see who else knows it all around the United States. Yeah. So I'm excited. Like everybody does. Hopefully. <laughs> I can't, I'm glad you said the T word, the magical T word. Tour. Touring. Yes. <laughs> everybody rooting for you all to get back on the road soon safely. Yes. yes. And I'm wishing you the best of That's luck tonight with your not you. one but two thank you. nominations That's right. Yay. break a leg thank you very much and good nice luck with the baby thank you all right i'm gonna let you go and okay. you have to get in there guys scurry. we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back the pre-show of the cma awards coming back in just a moment In times like these, the news-making events happen here. ABC News. President Trump meeting face-to-face -face with one of the world's most brutal dictators, Kim Jong-un. The president. You trust him. I do trust him, yeah. I think he trusts me, and I trust him. Ivanka Trump. I have to ask you about your emails. Your father had taken Hillary Clinton to task for this. There just is no equivalency. So the idea of lock her up doesn't apply to you? No. <laughs> Comey. How strange is it for you to sit here and compare the president to a mob boss? Very strange. Michelle Obama. What do you wish you could tell your pre-White House self? Whew. Melania Trump. Do you think there's still people there that he can't trust? Yes. Still working out? Yes. Michael Cohen. So he's still lying? Yes. It's a big statement. And now, in a year with so much on the line, we're right there. Good evening tonight from Washington, a very busy news night. America's number one news source, ABC News, straightforward. Hello? This is Montana Highway Patrol. You're looking for a couple of missing teenagers. That's right. 
Last seen in a red focus. Who's gone? The steering wheel is getting stiff. Lock the door. We're fine. ourselves a predicament when the night has come here we can come this way am i in it am i in your shot? joining me right now one group that embodies strength and pure positivity i wrote that i just had to <laughs> tonight for vocal group of the year little big town Hi. In the that was off script, right? It's so good. You know what? I, I just, I smiled when I saw that I was going to get the chance to talk to you guys live. You just Aww. light up a room when you walk in it. Thank Your you. music makes us so happy. Thank and you, you guys are nominated Thank once you. again. If you win, it will be number seven. What? what? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm trying not to count. I, well, <laughs> let me ask you a question because I know it's a, it's an embarrassment of riches, but what would that mean to be recognized by your peers seven times for such an important award? It's wow. unreal. That would be remarkable. Yeah, I mean, this show has been so special to us our entire lives. This is what you grew up watching and seeing your favorite country music stars and to to be recognized that many times is, is amazing. You know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, eight, when we won. Yeah, you, you go. go. <laughs> All right. Ladies first, okay. Kimberly. Eight oh, years ago tonight is when we won Vocal Group of the Year for the first time here. I was thinking about that this morning. That, that was, was special. Oh, that was one of those wow. moments that will go with us forever. forever. Yeah. That's and, what and, I was going to oh, say. Oh, you really, you too. Karen, great to see you. I love you. Uh, how does it feel, guys, to be out, dressed up? Hey. A lot of people have said I've, that they haven't been out of sweats in weeks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we so, haven't. Uh, is it, is this a bit of a party, even though obviously very smart, safe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, I mean, we were we've styled been, by Karen tonight. Oh. Well, <laughs> we've, been, we've been masked and COVID, like, tested until... <laughs> right back at you. Yeah. Everybody you see here Everybody in here. this room. And it's so hard. Right. been tested like multiple we, times. We would do anything to be with the fans. And I'm so hopeful for, like, what's coming. Yes. You know, like, they they talk about, like, the roaring 20s. Yes. You know, and... Well, let's not get carried away, that. people. Take it slow. <laughs> but I feel like that's what's coming. Like, yeah, when we get yeah. set loose, coming. when we yeah. get set loose as a country, we're just going to be, like, yeah. flapper dresses and <laughs> color and dancing yes. in the streets. Like yes, ma'am. Call like me. Yeah. Um, you guys are doing something very special tonight on stage. I'm really glad they that you're a part of the tribute to the one and only Kenny, Kenny Rogers. Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Yeah. What did that mean to you guys to be tapped to perform in his honor? Well, he was so kind to us, and when we was able, were able to spend time with him, and but that song, just every time we got to spend time with him, he was so complimentary of our harmonies, and because he was in a harmony band in the beginning, and. It was just, you know, that moment that we get to spend with him, several moments were so special that I'll never forget. It's so down to earth and yeah. kind hearted, yeah. just so kind hearted. Yeah. yeah. So precious. agreed. I can't Kimberly's wait to only see done it. a tequila shot with two people. Yes. Kenny Rogers and Matthew McConaughey. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, the list is high. That's it's a like, good, that's a good we're waiting for George Clooney to come around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Sure Casamigos. Would you like some Casamigos? Karen, you, do, you, do a, you did a great thing because uh, I was going to transition to your new video. <laughs> The wine, okay. the beer, the whiskey. The or wine, the, tequila. the beer, the whiskey. Like yes, whatever. please. Yeah. COVID. Is that, our, is how our... much fun is that song? I believe an anthem is born. <laughs> oh, my, God. my daughter was annoyed. She's like, you're hearing this for the first time. Why are you already singing it? I was like, <laughs> you cannot. It's a not. nursery run. <laughs> for an adult. For an adult. No, yeah. all the kids love it. My three-year-old, she sings it over and over and over. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for giving us another smile. As I said, pure positivity. Little Big Town. Thank Good you. luck tonight. Night. Go get them on stage. We'll be watching. It's good to see right you. back at you. So great to see you, and great to see all of all of you celebrating country music tonight. Yeah. That's Thanks. my chills. Good to be here. Um, you. Go Thank get them. You. you look beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna do this, and you can do what you need okay. to do, or join me. Uh, we are live, as you can tell, less than an hour away from the CMA Awards on ABC. The stars continue to roll in here at Music City Center. It is an exciting night for all of the nominees, and maybe most especially for the young performers nominated for New Artist of the Year. Here's a look at who's competing in that category.
And let's take a look at our countdown clock. We are just 45 minutes away from the CMA Awards, but there's still plenty of time to chat with some of the big stars nominated and performing tonight. When we come back, two of country's reigning queens joining us live, Marin Morris, and tonight's most nominated artist, Miranda Lambert. Stay with us, the CMA Awards pre-show. We'll be right back. Hello? This is Montana Highway Patrol. And you're looking for a couple of missing teenagers. That's right. When the night Last seen in a red focus. Has come. The steering wheel is getting stiff. Lock the door. We're fine. No, I won't be afraid. Be afraid. Be afraid. Got ourselves a predicament. When the night reality is our country can collapse from within. You see the white power movement on the march. You will not replace us! Klansmen and neo-Nazis, skinheads, it's meant to incite war. From the KKK to Oklahoma City to Charlottesville, the new documentary event special. We just need to start talking about race. Homegrown hate, the war among us. This is a real wake-up call. Streaming now on ABC News Live. Burning. On the ground and the Iraqis. 18,000 tons. Matata. Ismail. Yes. David. David. Over ground zero from Hurricane Michael. You can see just home after home. David. It's the truth. This was your view. My favorite view. Thank you for Thank you. at the CMA Award pre-show, and I am with multiple CMA Award nominee. I, this year, too, nominated, nominated for Male Vocal Artist of the Year, Thomas Rhett and Lauren, you are with us live. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having Glad us. To be here. How great is it to be with all of your brothers and sisters in the music community <laughs> on this very, very special night? It hasn't happened in a long it's, time. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, you, you think you get to see everybody on the road, but uh, yeah. obviously we haven't gotten to go on the road this year, so this is the first time I've seen some of these faces around here for the first time since 2019, so it's very special. Yeah. When, when you heard that the CMA Awards would do this, where they would say, we're not gonna do it virtually, we're actually gonna yeah. get into a room, how relieved were you, nervous? Yeah. I know you said to me off camera, you haven't performed yeah. in a long time. <laughs> relieved, one, because CMAs are some of our favorite times of the year, and nervous, too, just because I feel like the only performing I've done this year is in my studio in front of a computer doing yeah. an Instagram live <laughs> or something like that. Um, so this is uh, not only to perform, but to do it live and um, singing a song tonight called Be A Light um, with the other artists I recorded it with for the very first time in person. So oh, that's very excited to be able to share this message once again uh, with those guys and girls. And uh, we're just excited to see our buddies. Yeah, it's special. I think the world needs music right now. And for us to be able to get to do this together and for the CMAs to put so much in place to make yeah. this happen. I mean, it's been for unbelievable sure. watching it all come together and how safe everybody's being. And I mean, but it's so worth it just to get to be in the same room as people is... I never thought that I would crave that so much, yeah. but this year has really, it's really taught us how special that time That's is. That's right. So it really has. There have been silver linings. For sure. Absolutely. And and one of them is, I think, appreciating the moment and yeah. each other and your family. Absolutely. What a beautiful. This got to be date night. You have three kids under yeah. six years old. <laughs> it Absolutely. Does, it definitely feels like a date night. <laughs> gonna have um, a drink. For sure. Sit down, have nobody need us for a little bit. <laughs> I, I have to celebrate Thomas Rhett for a moment because today. You dropped a new single. Yeah. Yes, What's your did. country song? What's your country song? Yeah. Did you like it? I tried to sound southern. I'm from the Highlands. You did great. I mean, <laughs> you did great. I, you did great. Well, we, you, you picked some good ones that you talk about in the song. You talk about uh, George Straits. Yeah. All my exes live in Texas. Yeah. Um, Garth Brooks. I mean. Yeah, for sure. No, we, we wrote the chorus first, and we were just deciding where to go in the verses, and I made a joke uh, right in one of the verses except I threw one of my dad's song titles in from the 90s. Nice. Just, and we all laughed about it. And yeah. then every single line became, uh, you know, a song title that, that we love from the 70s or 80s or 90s to now and kind of crafted a story around those song titles and really just about how everybody's got a country song that takes them back to a moment in time. Yep. Um, Lauren, what's your country song? Man, I feel like... You better say Marry Me. Back, gotta be something. Oh, 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 I guess I could say something for you. But I, yeah, I feel like Alan Jackson, Old School, Tim McGraw, The Chicks... 
I don't know, all of those when I was younger, all of those take me back. So it would have to be a playlist off one of those right. artists. Sure. Well, you're going to hear some great country music tonight, That's and right. you're going to give us some. So thank you for yes, that, ma'am. Thomas Ratt and Lauren. Great to see thank you. You look very glamorous. See. Go enjoy, everybody. Thank you so much. All right, I'm good going to throw to it to your friend, Jake. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to go check in with Jake Owens, who's got someone very special with him backstage. Hey, Lara. I am with someone special backstage. I'm with the man, Mr. Jason Aldean. How are you feeling, man? I'm good. It's just nice to get out of the house and be able to be around the music scene again. It's been a while, so it's it's good, man. Seeing some, some friends I haven't seen in a while. And looking forward to it. Well, you look good for a guy that's just been sitting at the house, you know. Uh, I've been doing the same thing. I've got a little kiddo. I know you got a little one. Uh, I hear you call a little Navy bandit. So bandit, man. Well, why is that? She's uh, she's a thief. She's uh, she, She'll be two in February. And, uh, you know, it's just like whenever you're looking for something around the house, you can't find it, whether it be a remote or your car keys, your phone, whatever it is. She just hides it. She's got it, and it, it could be in the trash, it could be in the toilet, it could be under a couch cushion. You just never know. So we just, her nickname's the bandit. I heard that, and I was I was excited to ask you why. We haven't given uh, Paris too many names. Uh, we call her Chi. Don't ask us why. But uh, I saw that you are opening the show tonight, doing a little Charlie Daniels tribute. Yeah. And uh, tell me about that, because I'm a big Charlie Daniels fan. I'm, I kind of need the insight on what you guys are doing. Well, you know, obviously losing Charlie was a huge thing for the country music world this year. And, uh, he was always a big influence for me growing up in Georgia and just kind of having you know country music and Southern rock you know, being a big part of what he did. Uh, that was always a huge influence for me. So we had a chance to uh, just kind of honor him tonight, open the show, and do a little thing. Uh, Dirks, myself, Brothers Osborne, and yeah. Ashley McBride. So uh, looking forward to it, man. Just to, to pay tribute to somebody who's you know done a lot for, for this industry and uh, you know who a lot of artists looked up to. And, and that was just a just a sad thing to lose him this year. And every every time I ever got a chance to spend any time with him at all, he was just so cool to, to younger artists and took his time to, to really hang out and, and talk to him and, and it was just uh, it was just a sad loss. I 100% agree with you on that. We uh, we definitely miss you, Charlie. But uh, I'm, we're going to send it back to Lara. Uh, I appreciated your uh, Tiger King Halloween outfit. <laughs> so everybody did, actually. So uh, good luck uh, up there you're tonight. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome, Jake. No, I appreciate it, man. Lara, we're back to you. We're going to get out of here. Oh, thank you so much, Jake. I am with the lady in pink, the lady of the night, Miranda Lambert. Here are the stats. Her song Bluebird and her hit album Wildcard earning her an astonishing seven nominations tonight. 55 CM CMA nominations total in her career. Miranda now holds the record as the most nominated female artist in CMA Awards history, breaking the record formerly held by tonight's co-host, Reba McIntyre. Is that, I, I, you're sitting here staring at I me. I am, I'm like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, I, I actually didn't realize that until I got asked about it in an interview, and I mean, Reba's the queen, and so even being close to her in stats was a dream, you know, but um, I'm humbled and honored. I love, I, this is my whole life's work, you know, so. That's I'm, what I read that. I loved what you wrote. You said it, it is my life's work and to be, to be recognized and to be acknowledged for how hard you have worked. It is. And it's peers, it's family that keeps voting for you and keeps saying, we believe in what you're doing. And it just gives me more fire to keep reinventing and doing better and doing more yeah and one of those awards tonight is pretty special entertainer of the year I, I just got chills for you as a woman standing alongside your fellow nominee Carrie Underwood yes I mean this is history making the fact that it you is. are with you have three amazing men also in the category don't want to take anything away from them but yes yes it's, <laughs> I think it's the first time two women have been in the category together since 1979 yes so it's about time but I'm thrilled I mean it's a tough competition I mean also this year to me the award is more about um, how you represent yourself in country music as a whole, you yeah. know, without touring this year, we're basing it on the little tours we got to do. Um, but I think it's just about how you've, how you've given to the business and to the, to the fans over time, you know, so everybody deserves it. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yesterday? Yesterday. Happy birthday. CMA's you said it was a nothing birthday, but every birthday, let me tell you, I'm a little older than you. Everyone matters. No, it was, it was, um, it's also always around the CMA, so it's usually before, and I can't like blow it out. So CMA night, I usually like all the pizza, all the cake, <laughs> all the wine, because I'm always like, oh, my birthday's always the day before. Yes. <laughs> so I gotta keep it together. Okay. Um, I just watched Settling Down, the video. 
I mean, you look so happy. Thank it you. It's so beautiful. It was such a fun You said video. you made your husband. You said, just do it. This is part of the deal. Yeah, I'm like, you're here. You're gorgeous. We're going to use You're a video victim now. <laughs> <laughs> it was his debut, but he did amazing. And we did it at our farm with, with our horses and our dogs. Oh, your and hair and the wind. It was I mean. fun. I've never ridden horse on camera, so it was a challenge. But I, I do ride a lot, but not... Yeah. in front of people in a gown and cape. Yeah, no, <laughs> so, that's multitasking. Obviously. Miranda, but, you're speaking of multitasking, you've got a big night ahead. Rooting for you. Well, thank you. Thank you for breaking the, the glass ceiling. Thank you for all that you give to the artists, and to the fans, to me. And I'm um, just thinking about you tonight. Well, thank you so and, much. And a lot, and very deeply. Go thank get them. Thank you. Good talking to you. Great talking to you, too. Yes. Enjoy Bye. your friends on this thank very special friends. night. We are, in fact, counting down to the CMA Awards on ABC. We have more stars joined Joining up to talk with us after the break, including Marin Morris, Old Dominion, Jimmy Allen, and Ashley McBride. Stay with us. The CMA Awards pre-show. We'll be right back. is our country can collapse from within. You see the white power movement on the march. Klansmen and neo-Nazis, skinheads, it's meant to incite war. From the KKK to Oklahoma City to Charlottesville, the new documentary event special. We just need to start talking about race. Homegrown hate, the war among us. This is a real wake-up call. Streaming now on ABC News Live. Burning. Now. When it matters most, the straightforward facts. ABC News is America's number one news. Number one in the morning. Number one in the evening. With America's most watched newscast. Number one in late night versus the competition. Number one in politics. And most watched on this historic election night versus the competition. The number one daytime talk show. And number one in streaming news. Most trusted, most watched. ABC News is America's number one news. I know what happened, and I'm not guilty. Why the fascination with criminal trials? Figure out what's really out there. She revealed she had murdered his family. I know in my heart that he did this. It's the time of suspicion. The ending's really tough. You don't know whether truth is going to be difficult to find unless you try to find it. Nashville counting down to the CMA Awards. With me now, another one of the biggest stars in country music, my pal, Marin Morris, we go handsome back. husband, Ryan, multiple nominee tonight. I mean, is a state night. It's a pretty special night on so many levels. This is the first time you all have been in one room. No, yeah. no virtual performances, live and in person. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm glad. I, I saw during rehearsals what the whole setup looks like in there. It's very like 1960s, at, like casino performance like where people are at booths like drinking and yeah. watching your performance um it looks beautiful and i'm so glad the cmas like pulled this together in such an amazing way and we actually get to like see all our friends tonight for the first time since we had our baby so this is huge for us as new parents i know i, I was gonna say date night congratulations hayes yeah that adorable little boy i've seen a couple pictures of yeah. him uh eight months old now almost. almost he's at grandma's tonight thank you kim for watching him <laughs> so we can drink. Uh, how important was it for you to be here to perform for the fans who have been so patiently waiting for all of you artists to get back on the road? Um, you know, it's an honor because the last show I really played was the Houston Rodeo back in March when before everything really shut down and I was nine months pregnant. That was my last gig. And so this little bit of normalcy tonight will feel really great. And for everyone watching at home, it's gonna feel, I mean, it is live. So yeah. we are really doing the thing we typically do at the CMA Awards, but it'll just be a little more scaled back. But yep, and very safe. Yes, We like safe. to point out. Lots of COVID tests. Yes, I know everybody's saying. How have many COVID room. tests have we all had? I but know. that's a great thing. So important to do that and to make sure that everybody is safe, new moms. Um, I just, I, I love, I, I love girls so much. I, I love your, your music. It, it really touches a chord with your fans. Um, 
does it surprise you that the reaction and, and how loved the, that your songs are and how we scream them, we, you know, we sing them? Um, it does. And, you know, my last show, that was right before my song, The Bones, uh, went number one. I so, love the song. Thank you. I never really got to celebrate with a crowd or at least like in a performance the the momentum of that song because right. we weren't playing after it went number but one. It found, so. it found its groove. Yeah. But tonight I kind of feel like I've been saving the bones for a show moment like this. Yeah. And I'm so glad I did because this feels like a really big comeback. And it's just been such a therapeutic song this year for me yeah. and a lot of fans. So I'm excited that we can finally do it. Yeah. We're going to, we're so excited to hear you. I'm great to see you. you I was too. excited. The last I saw you was right here last year, very pregnant yeah. backstage with a huge Huge win. Wishing you the best of luck. So good to see you. Absolutely. Congrats Thank on you. the baby and enjoy date night. Happy we CMA will. night. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, great to see you. Go get him. All right. And good luck. We're going to head over to Jake Owen. He is standing by with more nominees. Jake, over to you. What's up? Jake's right there. Lara, I am. I'm over here right now, Lara, backstage, ran into a bunch of dudes right here. Old Dominion, these guys nominated for Vocal Group of the Year and Album of the Year. I believe this is like their 1,000th time <laughs> they've been nominated for Vocal Group of the Year. You guys have won it the last two years in a row. So, I mean, how do you think this one's going to hit a little differently when you guys when you guys win it tonight, pull it through? I got, well, I mean, I'm, we're not, you're calling that. I, that was him that said that. I'm but. calling it because I believe in you guys. <laughs> and I, I've, I've seen you guys for a lot of years come together. Together and make this happen. Obviously, Brad wore this anywhere. tonight. You, you wore that. You wore that for the pure purposes of, of the win tonight, correct, Brad? <laughs> this guy doesn't win this yeah. for a concession speech. <laughs> <laughs> Wit, Wit went with the more all-black, classy look tonight. He wants to take the award in class. I see that. Um, speaking of class, uh, you guys are in class all your own um, when it comes to this vocal group thing here. You know, I don't know what it's like to be in a vocal group. I've always thought about it, but I would like to know. I mean, what is it? like to be in a vocal group uh there are advantages but there are there's quite a few disadvantages <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. think about think about think think about your your bank account and then cut it in a yeah, fifth yeah. find the five ways yeah. that's why i do this by myself yeah, yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> Smart man. but it is it's not all about the money you we know i have to chip in and buy brad's jacket yeah <laughs> well you paid a lot for that one i gotta show you so i do have to know though you know that's a lot of trophies that go out to a group yeah, yeah. so where do all these trophies go where do you guys keep them in your house uh, you know, everybody. You guys, who's the biggest bragger of all the trophies in the group? Trevor, Trevor's, Trevor's got a museum. Trevor's got a museum. I, well, I do have a Trevor Rosen museum, but I don't think that's out of the ordinary. <laughs> but, you know, I just, you know, it's a self contained, it's airtight, you know, it, yeah. it sort of preserves Finger everything. Print, yeah. Fingerprints. It's got to have fingerprint. I'm working on the eyeball thing to get in there, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, normal stuff. Speaking of normal stuff, this isn't normal. Mo, mo, uh, <laughs> your album, your first album you ever had, you named it Meat and Candy, which right. I appreciated because I know you guys and I know your humor and I know your brilliance when it comes to music. That album, by the way, has gone platinum. And uh, have you got your plaque yet? We did. We just recently got our plaques. You did? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you send me one? <laughs> yeah, Just because coming. I was there in the beginning, yeah, you know what I mean. Coming. So yeah, we've all worked hard for this. It? I didn't get, move? I didn't get mine. I didn't get mine. But okay. we'll hook up later. Hey, drive. Wit, man, are you excited about performing tonight? Dude, super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Wit is a man of many words. It was hard for him to hold it in right there. But Lara, we are having a blast backstage. We're hanging out. Old Dominion here. I believe they're going to take the title tonight. I'm just saying. But uh, good luck. Album of the year. I'm pulling for you guys. Right Thanks, Thanks, Back to you, Lara. <laughs> yeah, just say it. We love you. We love you, Old Dominion. <laughs> He's doing great. Uh, moments ago, I had the chance to talk with one of country music's brightest new stars, nominated for New Artist of the Year, Jimmy Allen. What a love. And he started our interview by telling me about the very first time he came to the CMA Awards. And let's just say it was a very different experience than the one he will have tonight. Three years ago, I spent my last hundred dollars to come to CMAs to see Charlie Pratt perform. So to have my first performance and first nomination at the same show where he's winning the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, that's a, it's like a full circle moment. And then, you know, to have Darius co-hosting and I got to do a song with Darius and Charlie together. It's a, it's a cool night. It's a full, it's a full circle night. Let's talk sure. about the Charlie Pride moment here tonight. Not only are you such a fan and you look up to him and he has paved the way, for so many, but mm -hmm. also you get to present him yeah. with the Willie Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, when you a, got that call yeah. and they said, hey, Jimmy, 
It's you. Yeah, it's a, I'm like, they could have chose anybody, yep. you know, um, but the fact that they chose me means a lot. You know? Yeah. Um, and it's not something I take lightly. It's probably why another reason why I'm super, super nervous, <laughs> you know, and that's the reason why tonight, you know, I normally on shows I have loud outfits and stuff mm -hmm. like that and I was like you know I don't want to wear anything that's gonna like you know take, take attention away. away from Charlie so I said tonight we're gonna I still designed it though um me and my friends uh they have a company called black men's clothes wear cl clothing wear uh, we designed the suit so I still had to, had to do something yeah. original but I wanted to keep it uh classic James tonight. Bond eat your heart out yeah <laughs> you look fantastic <laughs> thank you so much really great yeah. and you touched on something you spent your last dollars to come to this show mm -hmm. not that long ago nobody knew who you were yeah. you know or you were up and coming. Yeah. I read that you worked in a gym to yeah. support yourself. Yeah, I was working here. At this You used to take gym. showers yeah, at the gym. I took showers at the gym. Uh, <laughs> wash my clothes there. Would eat there because I worked in a snack bar there. So I would eat there, wash my clothes there. So I you did get what it's like to come up the mm -hmm. hard way in this business. Oh, for sure. And I feel like it makes you appreciate it more. Yeah. And I feel like you're not afraid to take risks. Like I've been broke before. So if I try a bunch of things and it doesn't work and, you know, and my career just goes nowhere or falls off, it's all right. Because I'd rather just have a good time. Right. Uh, and try, know you try. Try what I love. Exactly. I, I, I got, just want to say, I want people to know um, that what you've done for your crew during the pandemic. You know what it's like to not have a lot of money. Yeah. It's been really hard on the entire country music community uh, during this time. Yeah. And you took out a loan, yeah, took out a loan to pay for your crew so that they could eat and yeah. and support but, themselves. Yeah, because I was like, you know, um, I've been in a situation where I'm blessed to where I would have been okay. But the thought of my band and my, and these, my band, you know, uh, Josh, Tate, Seth, like they start off with me when uh, my first tour, right when I got my record deal and I was paying these guys $25 a show. You know, uh, some shows I didn't pay them anything. And I was like, I can't have these guys worrying about how their bills are going to get paid. Yeah. So I was like, let's go to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what we can take out. We'll pay it back when we pay it back. Because my main concern was making sure they could take care of their families. Yep. And that's what I feel like the country music family is all about. And those guys are my family. Just adore him. When we return, we'll talk to female artist of the year nominee, Ashley McBride. We'll also show you how the country music community has taken on the challenges of this year, 2020, and turned them into opportunities to give back. As we go to break, how about a little music from OD, Old Dominion? Hello? This is Montana Highway Patrol. Did you're looking for a couple of missing teenagers. That's right. When the night Last seen in a red focus. Has gone. The steering wheel is getting stiff. Lock the door. We're fine. No, I won't be afraid. Be afraid. Be afraid. Got ourselves a predicament. When the night We move up to the vehicle, he detonates the bomb. The heroes who stopped the killer, who held the city of Austin hostage for 19 days. It's a tripwire. All hands on deck. The clues, the Home Depot video, that truck, and the agent who connected the dots. It was exactly the vehicle that we were looking for. Inside the investigation, made contact. the takedown of the bomber, now streaming on Hulu. Reality is our country can collapse from within. You see the white power movement on the march. You will not replace us! Klansmen and neo-Nazis, skinheads, it's meant to incite war. From the KKK to Oklahoma City to Charlottesville, the new documentary event special. We just need to start talking about race. Homegrown hate, the war among us. This is a real wake-up call. Streaming now on ABC News Live. Burning. Here we are, just about 20 minutes to the start of the 54th annual CMA Awards. In a moment, we'll hear from tonight's co-hosts, Darius Rucker and Reba McIntyre. First, though, let's check back in with our special contributor, Jake Owen. Jake. 
Lara, look who I just ran into backstage. My buddy of a long time here, Mr. Dirk Spanley. Dirks, how are you feeling? Yeah, I wish I was feeling as good as you look. You look I, good. I man. feel good. You, I you should. You, you look good. Well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, it's been a minute. I haven't seen you. Yeah. You've been holed up out in Colorado or something for a while. Yeah, I moved out there. Well, I went out there in March for a little spring break with the family and then just, just never stayed. left. Yeah, like, why, why, why come back? So, uh, living in a little small town out there and kids are going to school out there. A lot of outdoor, uh, outdoor living, so it's been good. It looks like it. I follow. I follow Dirks on Instagram. I, too. I see your your camping techniques. You're doing a lot of biking, a lot of biking. a lot of hiking. Yeah, Are you I'm, staying hydrated? I probably couldn't do one push up right now, but I got good leg well, leg strength, I, upper I, body. I could probably hit a push up or two to try to keep that going. But we'll I, I think you'll do all right. <laughs> hey, so you're doing a uh, you're opening the show tonight. You're playing a tribute to Charlie Daniels. Tell yeah, us about it. I mean, you know, just like you, I'm sure. I mean. Jukebox Jake here knows every Charlie Daniels song there probably is, but uh, he was such a big influence for me. I mean, so many guys were. It'd be hard to pick one guy that was, but he, I mean, one, arguably one of the greatest of all time. You know, just across any genre. Yeah, he just is one of the most special people we were lucky to call a country singer. And I got the call to come be part of this great tribute tonight with some other bands and singers. And I feel humbled and honored. And the more I talk about it, the more nervous I get because I want to honor him properly. So Well, hopefully. you will, as you always do. And yeah, speaking right. of great country bands, uh, the Hot Country Nights. Uh, you guys put out an album in May. Yeah. Uh, the world freaked out. I mean, yeah. it, it took the world by storm. So what do you, what do you think? Is, what are you we going to get in some more of this I, or what? I think the universe wasn't ready for it, so the universe developed COVID to kind of shut it down because it just is too much for the universe to handle. It's See, I disagree. I think the world needed it, which yeah. is why it was the perfect time. Gosh, I mean, there's a joint, you know, there's something that's that the whole world is feeling disappointment, so I can't. It's a universally shared feeling, so that gives me comfort. Misery loves com company. But, uh, yeah, it was going to be a great project. We put the album out. It's got some attention. I think the Knights might have been performing here this year if uh, if it wasn't for COVID. It wasn't for COVID, but yeah. uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Well, it'll be, the Knights will ride again. Don't worry. But I know well. you guys are worried. Just relax. The nights will ride again. The 90s are not. They will again. ride. And uh, <laughs> one of the greatest guys in country music right here, Dirk Smantley. So I'm going to throw it back to you, Lara, and we're going to see you later tonight. You're kicking yeah. the show off. I will. Thanks, Good buddy. guy right here. Love Dirk Bentley. Thank you, Jake. We're going to check in now with another one of tonight's multiple nominees, Ashley McBride. I spoke to her just moments ago as she was on her way to get ready to perform in the same opening number. Take a look. <laughs> Last year, I sat backstage with you just after you won Best New Artist, and here you are tonight, nominated for three CMA Awards. First, congratulations. Is there one that means more? Let me name them, because I know you won't brag. I will brag for you. Female Vocalist of the Year, Musical Event of the Year, which, by the way, love that, and Album of the Year for Never Will. Is there one more than the others, or is it they're I mean, all your children? When you look at, at Female Vocalist of the Year and Album of the Year, I mean, these are huge categories, but Album of the Year, I think, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I think it's basically everybody's favorite category. It's huge to me. Plus, I love all the records that are, that are in the category, so yeah. I'm really excited about it. And let's talk about that musical event and those women. Talk about a display of girl power yeah. in the community of country music. First of all, talk to me about those women and you, the experience, and, and just the, the reception that that video has gotten. I didn't even know they were going to video it that day, so it was really cool to find that out. And so Miranda couldn't have picked women that were any different. I mean, in height, in hair color, yep. in the way we sing, our lanes that we take up. So you've got Kaylee Hammett, Tennille Towns, L. King, myself, Miranda, and Maren Morris. And we're singing this far away from each other with our microphones kind of staggered. And um, she could have had it, she could have done it where we came in separately yeah. and done it on different days, but she had us all there together. So it really was an event. And, and as a result, we're all friends. Did that singing fooled around and fell in love brought you all together as a community? I was not knowing. I mean, I'd never met Kaylee. Um, and I'd never hung out with Tennille Towns. I certainly had never gotten to hang out with Elle King. And now, because we were on tour with Miranda too, and we sang it every night at the end of the show. So we all got to become pals on, over the course of the tour. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I love hearing women loving women and, and, and so many amazing women here tonight. How good does it feel to be back in one room with the country music community, all singing, celebrating, showing your fans that you're still here and that you love them? We, this could easily have had to be completely virtual, and they've gone through so much to make sure we could be in the room together. And I got teary just a while ago because our, our um, dressing rooms this year are buses. Everybody has a bus, and it's, it's sanitized you know, twice a day. Um, and I got a little teary out on the bus because we're all together. And I may have to sit this far away from you, but I get to celebrate, I mean, first of all, country music, but we get to celebrate the music that we've all made for the last year together in the same room. 
Are you nervous at all? I'm nervous. Um, the show opener is a huge honor, and especially when we're going to honor Charlie Daniels. Yeah. So that's that's not something um, you can mess up. You, you can't take that lightly, but it's going to be okay. We, yeah. we breathe it in. We breathe it out. It's going mean, to be that fine. That might be my all-time favorite country music song. As we say goodbye, can I, I know you don't mind singing A Little Devil Went Down to Georgia. Oh, my goodness. All right, don't do it. <laughs> Save it for the stage, girl. <laughs> yeah, we can. We, we got to do it on the stage. Can it's going to be amazing. And the energy with Bros Osborne and everything, the rehearsals went great. So, nice. And playing to a live audience, which has been, it's been a minute. It has been a minute, and we cannot wait any longer. So many people talking about all of those big performances planned tonight. We're talking Luke Combs, Miranda Lambert, Keith Urban, Eric Church, Dan and Shay, their collaboration with Justin Bieber. That's a world television premiere for their song 10,000 Hours, which is up for three big awards tonight. So much happening right now. They're all backstage getting ready, and that is where Jake Owens is. So let's check it out. Jake? Lara, as you know, this has been a year that none of us could have predicted. From our crew, to our family members, to the people we love, our country music fans out there on the road. This has been a tough year on all of us. But if there's one thing that I can say about us all that we have as a country community, is resilience. Eight months ago, we watched as the honky-tonks on Nashville's Broadway went dark. Arenas shuttered indefinitely as stay-at-home orders were given in cities across the country and the knocks of aspiring artists on Music Row's doors faded away. That I thought we'd never make it through. Yet, despite the uncertainty at the time, the country music community kept the music on as we waded through the darkest days of the pandemic. Fans rallied around artists as they released new music fit for the times. There will be light after dawn Someday when we aren't six feet apart. Like the soulful ballad Six Feet Apart by Luke Combs about coping in the pandemic. Homesick. Or Kane Brown's Homesick remix that benefited veterans and frontline workers. Artists even dropped into Zooms and FaceTimes to surprise our incredible healthcare heroes. Brad Paisley enlisted his fans and famous friends to make a socially distant music video for his song, No Eye and Beer, bringing people together from all over the world. We're on a mission to help those struggling with hunger and food insecurity. And in the true spirit of the country music community, Brad and his wife, Kimberly Williams Paisley, personally donated over one million meals with Feeding America to help food insecure families all over the country. There's a place I know about. Paisley recently joined Carrie Underwood at the Grand Ole Opry and reflected on the resiliency of the country community. As long as the Opry keeps going, I have hope. It gives me hope for our lives in Nashville, for country music in general, and... Good job, Grand Ole Opry, keeping going. When it rains, it pours. And in perhaps the most fitting way, Casey Musgraves' song, Rainbow, originally released in 2019, found a new life as a comforting anthem for anyone struggling throughout these last eight months. The lyrics hitting home as so many families hung rainbow drawings in their windows. A sign of unity as the death toll from COVID-19 continued to climb. When Casey performed the song for the Benefit concert, One World at Home Together, she sang the final line looking into the camera and giving hope to so many watching it home. That's the kind of hope that we all need, and I think we're gonna get a huge dose of that hope tonight when all of these entertainers hit the stage in just a little bit. And I know you're right, Jake, thank you. And when we come back, Jake will check in with tonight's co-hosts, Darius Rucker and Reba McIntyre. And would you look who's here, Carrie Underwood in the house. Our countdown to the CMA Awards continues when we are back in just a moment. We move up to the vehicle, he detonates a bomb. The heroes who stopped the killer, who held the city of Austin hostage for 19 days. It's a tripwire. All hands on deck. The clues, the Home Depot video, that truck, and the agent who connected the dots. 
It was exactly the vehicle that we were looking for. Inside the investigation, Vans made contact. the takedown of the bomber, now streaming on Hulu. reality is our country can collapse from within. You see the white power movement on the march. You will not replace us! Klansmen and neo-Nazis, skinheads, it's meant to incite war. From the KKK to Oklahoma City to Charlottesville, the new documentary event special. We just need to start talking about race. Homegrown hate, the war among us. This is a real wake-up call. Streaming now on ABC News Live. Burning. Now. When it matters most, the straightforward facts. ABC News is America's number one news. Number one in the morning. Number one in the evening with America's most watched newscast. Number one in late night versus the competition. Number one in politics and most watched on this historic election night versus the competition. The number one daytime talk show and number one in streaming news. Most trusted, most watched. ABC News is America's number one news. All right, we're back live in Nashville. Checking the clock, just under 10 minutes away from the big opening of the 54th annual CMA Awards on ABC. Co-hosts Reba McIntyre and Darius Rucker have been working for weeks for this night. Let's check in right now with Jake Owens and see how they're doing. Jake. Lara, thank you so much. I'm backstage here with the hosts of this big night tonight, Miss Reba McIntyre, Mr. Darius Rucker. Uh, Reba, you have hosted this show, I believe, five five times. Okay. And yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, does it get like does it get any easier every time you do it, or you still get the jitters or what? Not the jitters. Darius has made me so relaxed. We're having fun up there. The monologue's going to be a blast. We've been rehearsing it, and this is so different with the COVID protection protection, the shields, the mask, everybody being very cautious and safe. It's been so different. It doesn't even kind of feel like an award show, but it will once we get in there. I completely agree with that. Darius, it's your first time hosting. What do you think? You got you got a pro here next to you, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, ever since we started it, Reba's been so great about it. But, uh, you know, we had fun. Like she said, we rehearsed a lot. This was a long week, and we've had a lot of fun together. We've gotten to know each other really well. It's yep. been fun, and I can't wait to get out there and get the show started. Absolutely, man. Well, this whole year has been a little weird, as you alluded to a second ago, Reba. Uh, everything's been pretty much virtual this year. So this is this is one of the first shows where you're going to have some people in the audience. You're going to have live performance on stage. So uh, how do you feel about that? Is it going to feel good to get back up there? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, just to get up to rehearse, to sing was so much fun. We loved it. D? Absolutely. I mean, just to, just to be out there again in front of people and, and just to be singing with the band and stuff like that was just great. Absolutely. Well, something I think is really cool and important tonight, Charlie Pride is being awarded uh, the Willie Nelson Award. And Charlie Pride's always been, he signed my guitar last time I saw him. That's a big moment for me. But to see him be awarded tonight for what he's done for country music, um, y'all have thoughts on that? Oh, it's huge. He's such a wonderful performer. I opened the show for him in San Antonio Rodeo in 82. So he's one of my heroes, person that I've always looked up to and just love him to pieces. Yeah, for me, it's like, no, yeah, the, the Willie Nelson Award is such a big award, and, and no one deserves it more in country music than Charlie. And I I'm going to be getting it tonight when I'm hosting it with Reba. It's just so special to be a part of that. Yeah. That is that is really cool. And I will wrap this up by saying you just had a song come out, Darius, Beers and Sunshine. And there's a cool line in there about the only BS you're going to deal with is beers and sunshine. Yeah. So uh, I've, I've been around you and, and enjoyed some beers and some sunshine. So uh, you want to tell anybody about this new song or what? Uh, you know, I, I love it. You know, I wrote it with a bunch of guys that went at the beginning of the quarantine. And it's just a fun song about just not turn the TV off a little while and just enjoy life. Even though th things are bad, but, you know, still some silver lining and some good stuff in life. I hear you. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Lara, thank you so much. Uh, Y'all got a big job to get back to, so uh, I'll let them get back to what they're doing. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in just a bit. Bye. Bye, Reba. Go get them. Darius and Jake, thank you. What a great job you did. Thank you to all the artists who joined us tonight for our very special pre-show. As the countdown comes to a close, remember, turn your TVs to ABC right now for the 54th annual CMA Awards. I'm Lara Spencer. I'll see you all tomorrow on Good Morning America.